channel so for this video I'm partnering with ebonyline.com and they were kind enough to send me this unit right here uh, which I'll be reviewing for you all today and it is this glorious 613 and a 30 some inches worth of goddess right here all in these locks so of course don't forget to check out the description box down below for all of the links as well as the link to ebonyline.com where you can find this unit right here which we're gonna get into but of course before we get into it if you haven't already and if you're new to my channel welcome please please Please, please if you don't mind go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the bell button so you know when I'm putting out new content new things so yeah stay tuned all right so getting into the details of this beautiful unit right here this is um, by melanin melanin I can never say melanin right it's not really bad that's really bad so this unit is by melanin queen um, and this is their tiger eye Brazilian frontal um, lace and it is in the style yaki sleek and mlfo2 um, and in the color of course 613 but I feel like the 613 is definitely more along the lines of like a platinum platinum like white blonde which I'm really digging so this is the box that it came in and it's really nice packaging y'all know how I feel about good packaging um, the unit came super super quickly so that was a plus now the cool thing about this unit is that it has a 13 by 4 inch frontal so it's basically like a lace frontal wig which it pretty much is it's just the synthetic slash cheaper form and so therefore it has three combs um, the combs are actually going to be further back than I'm used to. It has three combs, two on the sides and then one in the back as well as adjustable straps. So the wig I will say is a little snug on my head. It's not quite big head friendly but it does fit my head. I kind of wish the cap was a little bit bigger because the combs at the side that normally help with my, my large head um, aren't really helpful because I usually wear wig caps and this one you know even if I take out the wig cap and try to put it in my actual hair it still kind of slides off but I found that using the Gatsby glue spray actually really really helps in holding down the wig so the wig is pretty secure to my head and I actually use this in combination with the Gatsby glue gel um, I don't use them both for you know the same thing I use this to just kind of glue down the lace and then I use the Gatsby glue gel for um, doing my baby hairs and all of that so this really will come in handy when it comes to this particular unit especially if you have a larger size head like myself um, you Gonna need this now on the plus side the lace is actually pretty plucked for you so that's what they mean by the natural looking scalp you can pretty much see um, your hand through when you glide through the lace over top and you can see it and it's like you know pretty like sparse the hairs at least in the frontal area so it gives a more natural and realistic looking you know scalp and parting I will say that you definitely need to blend your wig cap to this because if you don't you're gonna see it through the wig and it's not gonna look too too cute so I wanna you know do the extra blending um, to make sure that the wig cap matches your scalp because that's what's going to be showing through this part so uh, now one thing i really love about this wig is that it's super sleek and pretty like bone straight so you're getting this kind of share you know kim kardashian look um whoever else has blonde hair that has blonde straight hair um so yeah you're pretty much getting that look and it's just like you don't even need a flat iron so this is very silky very straight um and yeah like you don't find a lot of especially blonde hair wigs that are this silky without it being you know human hair but um it does shed up quite a bit i will say and the wispies the wispies y'all wispies are like my all-time like biggest pet peeve like the flyaways all the little you know baby hairs that be coming out here and there it's very very staticky so the hairs are pretty much flying everywhere so that is kind of one of my biggest cons against this wig other than that i love it i love the color i love the sleekiness um the parting is awesome the combs it could definitely be a little further up but i understand why they can't because you know you get a lot of parting space so with regards to price i'm on the website right now and it is going for about 54.95 and it also comes in pretty nifty color Colors, such as 1, 1B, 2, 613, 99J, P1B slash 30, and this cool color at the bottom, which is TE1B slash 
27, 30, yeah, 30, there's a lot of numbers in that. So when I first got this wig, I was like, I love the color and I have this idea to cut, you know, baby bangs into this wig. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I'm probably, yeah, let's go ahead and do it. So I got my part going and I also have my hair straightener on and I already sprayed down my little wispies just to kind of help with that, but they're probably gonna come back. All right, and where are my skizzes? Here are my skizzes. We're not gonna do this perfectly, so don't come at me, but we're just gonna go ahead and cut as straight across as we can. Ooh, well, totally missed that. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and give these bangs a little bumperoo. Alright, so we bump the ends and I'm just going to go ahead and apply a little bit of this got to be glued spray. Here and there, I already applied a little bit off camera, don't tell anybody. Alright y'all, I am uh, pretty satisfied with the results of my bang cutting. And so yeah, this is the final look and I am loving it. Um, it was a very quick tutorial, kind of on the spur of the moment thing, because I was like, yo, I really, really want some bangs in the back of my head. And yeah, y'all know I'm like very like out there. So I'm down to try all different colors, all different styles. I don't care. Y'all let me know what inspires you and I'm gonna get inspired by that. So comment down below um, what styles you wanna see me experiment with or colors, things like that. And yeah, so stay tuned. So shout out again to ebonyline.com for sponsoring this video. Um, definitely y'all check out the description box down below for all the links, pricing, all that information and the direct link to um, the website to ebonyline.com. So check them out. So that concludes the video for today, y'all. I hope you enjoyed watching it. Thank you so much for watching. And of course, like always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye-bye.